Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Tuesday. It's so about 1130. We've been up here working away. I've actually been working on the live stream. We do have a live show every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. I've been working on just some fun, interactive stuff. Hopefully, you guys can check us out on Thursday, and we'll try to play around with that stuff then. But I'm going to turn over to Kathy, and we're going to start pulling what has sold for for us today it is tuesday i think i might have said it. i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's tuesday sometimes i talk so much i forget what i say <laughs> okay first i oh, sold these kid van these were actually my son's i bought them for 15 he did wear them and i sold them on kitizen for 2610 with free shipping i did go ahead and ship through pirate ship um just because i don't when I do the kiddos and labels, I wait at the post office to have them scan because sometimes they just don't scan right. The sendle, I don't know what it is, but they don't always scan right. So yeah. anyways, even though I probably would have made a few more cents just using kiddos and label, I just didn't want to have to wait in line at the post office today. So I did pirate ship and the shipping cost four sixty eight. So I'm still making back my 15 and he got to wear them. So Very nice. Pretty cool. I can show you how we're shipping today. Yeah. Not so much. Yeah, a little bit of a slower day, which not too bad. Not in sales, right? I'm just saying. No, yeah. Work-wise. <laughs> We're just gonna. <laughs> so far, all we've done is print the labels because yeah. we need to put all these away, but we need to pull some stuff out before we do. Yeah. So, a decent amount from overnight till now. Uh, a couple of the kids' item bags. We're making a dent in here. Yeah. Uh, I know I sold this. This is the one I was looking for. Is that a Christmas tree? Yeah, actually, this is so funny. Um, yeah, this is just a Christmas tree. Uh, I went, I knew I bought the summer car, so I went to look for my old order just to type it in our spreadsheet and put the exact amount that I paid for the item originally, which right. is seven fifty. I bought two shirts from the seller just for fifteen total, so seven fifty. Um, but what was funny was I bought this on 8-16-2021, and today is 8-16-2022, and that's the day <laughs> I sold it. Like, that's just so random, that right? That is crazy. It's just, like, yeah. an exact year, but also, like, this is a Christmas and, yeah, it's, that it's I bought Christmas. in August, but also sold in August, so that was Man. just funny to me. Super Anyways, crazy. just one of those, like... Wait, it's like, <laughs> it's, what, stranger than fiction, yeah, I guess? <laughs> like, so, we'll do a mailer on that one. So yeah, I sold, oh, I didn't tell you what I sold it for. So bought for $7.50, sold for $15.50, free ship. Well, the way I priced it to the buyer was $11 plus $4.50 shipping because I was going to use a kid as in label. Then I was like, oh, wait, this is only a two-ounce shirt. So I mm. bought it through Pirate Ship for three seventy two. dollars Gotcha. So technically $15.50 shipped. Yeah. So made all my money back on that, too, and he got to wear that. And then this Patagonia vest, also my son's. Yeah, a lot of personal items today because that's what I listed a lot of last week. So uh, this one, I couldn't find my original order. I know I bought it on Kitizen. I just didn't want to scroll for like a year or two. Mm -hmm. um, I think I bought it around $30, but I sold it for $54.95 plus shipping. So I know I made all my money back, probably right. a little profit as well, which is cool. Very nice. And yeah, love Patagonia. And I know we do get the question occasionally, like how do we figure out what our buy cost was on something that was previously ours or, you know, from a long time ago. I'm gonna uh, go back and find that. Yeah, yeah. Sale, but I just but if you're trying to figure out for yourself, go check out Mark too. He's uh, Not Your Dad's CPA on YouTube and he's a CPA and he's a reseller. So he, should, he, he has a video exactly on how to determine that price for- If, if you don't know. Tax purposes, yeah. Stuff like that. So go check that out. We'll, uh, he's the guy you got to talk to because we're not tax yeah. accounts. So. <laughs> All righty. So got a viewer sale in CT. Just listed these, the little tea collection shorts from, I think we showed them on a recent video. Just picked these up at a Goodwill for $1.99. Sold them to our viewer, Leslie, for $12 plus shipping. So thank you so much, Leslie. Awesome. Leslie, thank you so much for that support. Your daughter loves them. We'll do a ice cream truck. <laughs> Lots of ice cream trucks today. Kids sales. <laughs> All right, BQ. Some men's Volcom, just like a crew neck sweatshirt. Bought this like a year ago, maybe half a year or more for $4.99. Ended up in our 50% off sale, I believe, for and it sold for $13.98 plus shipping. So a little bit of profit, not mm -hmm. huge. 
it is over a pound, so we're going out in a padded flat rate on that one. CP. Some Tevas. I'm just calling them Tevas. I don't care what they're called. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're Tevas. Every time I watch, because I watch, uh, there's some, uh, this guy on YouTube that he'll like destroy shoes to show which ones are the most like quality, I guess. And he calls them Teva. So, I mean, he's a cobbler, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to take his word for it. Uh, so, these are the Teva. They're called the Voya, I believe. Uh, bought them for $5.99, sold on Mercari for $23 plus shipping. Those only took about a week or so to sell. Let's do strawberries on those. Okay, see bees down here. Right, this buyer bought two separate shoes on Poshmark, but separate, so we are shipping them separate. This is one of them. I don't think it's a viewer. If you are, Christy, thank you. Uh, they didn't like write a message. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, these are Clark's, just like a cute little Chelsea ankle booty. Bought for $12.99, sold for $47 with discount shipping on Pop. And you might wonder why we didn't join the shipping on those. And that's just a policy that we've kind of uh adopted for ourselves if they do two separate orders we don't try to um go yeah, back and yeah because confuse it in our in our past experience it was yeah. like it just caused more problems they already you know unless they specifically ask and right. say hey can we do something we just kind of let it go so technically i believe this buyer got the posher va offer for both so her shipping right yeah she could have saved a few more dollars but that would be a lot of work on our, right, either right. of our ends to try to like conversate with each other over yeah. like three, four dollars maybe. So. And as a seller, like in our experience, it, like half the time they just didn't follow up on it. So they just, you know, it was a way to, for them to get out of the sale mm -hmm. or whatever. So. So, yeah, I mean, it's not like it's bad if you want to do right. it. I have done it before. It, it worked out. It was just like it's a, a lot, lot of work, of work yeah. just to save the buyer money. Yeah. And you're wasting your time and. So, so however you feel yeah. about it, do, do what feels best to yourself. I, I bring these things up because we do get these questions yeah. fairly often. And for me, like the best, the thing that feels best for me is just send out what they bought. Yeah. Don't even open any yeah. sort of cans of worms that y'all are going to have to deal with. Yeah. So the second pair of shoes were these cute little, I don't know how you say this, Muse, Muse and Cloud. Don't know where these are sold or anything. I actually bought these for myself. I might have worn them once or twice. They weren't that comfortable to me, so I did buy them for twelve ninety nine. Sold them um, thirty one with discount shipping, so a little bit of profit there still. Mm -hmm. All right, CZ. Oh, that's a nice one to get out yeah. of there. <laughs> this I've had forever. <laughs> it's just the brand Ellen Tracy, and I only bought it because it came from the bins where I pretty much buy anything in good shape. So I don't have a cost of goods. This was, I've had this forever. I took it to Play-Dohs, they didn't take it. I feel like I might have taken it to JBF in the youth section, like put it in like the teenage section at mm -hmm. one point. They, mm -hmm. It didn't sell there. So I don't know what I paid for it, but bins assume less than $2. Yeah. I sold it for $18. Okay. Oh gosh, so. Alrighty. So yeah, like in, in our spreadsheet, like in that case, since I don't know, it, it's just, I have it as zero. So you right. just pay a little bit extra tax on yeah. that profit versus if I did know, exactly. the profit's less. So We try to err on the side of caution when it yeah. comes to the, you know, IRS and all that. <laughs> so if we don't know and we can't like prove it, we typically just go with zero um, yeah. because in that case you are paying the most taxes. Yeah. Whether or not that's the exact way you want to do it, again, go talk to uh, Mark too over at Not Your Dad's CPA. All right. So, yeah, those two will do regional bees. This one will just do a Tyvek mailer. Shoe shelf number two. Number two. Okay, we might have a shoe shelf number 20. 20. <laughs> I don't know about that. No. <laughs> if we have to have that many shoes, we'll just figure out a better system all the way around. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these bogs are the ones from our recent bins haul. So about less than $2 again into them, sold for $35 on Poshmark. And these are actually missing one of the insoles, which I mentioned, but I mean, my kids always pull those out anyways and still wear them. So yeah. I don't think that there's any issue wearing them as is. Is Boggs one of the ones that if you take it out, it makes it the wider version of the no, size? No, but like I can tell the bottom is still pretty cushiony. Like it's, yeah. 
you know, it's not like a weird, gross feeling or anything. Right. So they always pull them out of their hunter boots too. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was on posh. Um, I swear the regional bees are smaller they than got they once smaller. were. They, so yeah. I might do like a large flat rate on those dogs. Hopefully that fits them. Okay, DF, some Ariat shoes. Where are you at? There's some Ariat clogs, bought for $9.99, sold for $40 with discount shipping on Posh. Those should be good in the regional B. And lastly, so far, shoe shelf. Boots. Oh yeah, I just I just listed and put these away. So these I was gonna have Chris kind of. I was being lazy and not wanting to like clean them. The dirt. But you and can stuff. see dirt here. Yeah. That's fine. I would normally leave that anyways. But this type of dirt was kind of like all over the boots. Mm. And they said waterproof, so I was like, oh, I'll just try to wash these in the washing machine. Against my better judgment, because they are leather. Yeah. And I was like, they probably won't come out good, which. You know, there's nothing wrong with them other than you can tell that you're, like, sucked dry of any sort of moisture. A little faded looking. Yeah. Um, and, I, I mean, if you want to put, like, some Wonder Balsam or something on those, it would probably brighten them up again. But yeah. I don't think that matters, too. Whoever bought them probably just wants them for hiking and outdoor stuff. They probably don't care necessarily how they look. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah, don't wash leather shoes unless you <laughs> want them to look like this. But either way, I bought them for twelve ninety nine, sold for fifty four plus shipping. So still a really good sale, even as is. Yeah. I don't even know if I could have got more if they were in better shape. Like, I feel like that's a pretty good amount to get. Yeah. So, that's that. We try to. We yeah, like I asked Chris to like put some stuff on them the other day. He's like, that'll take a long time. How much do I think more I'd get? And right. I, you know, I was like, I'll just list them and see. Yeah. Because I sold this exact pair last week, a different size. And those were like cracked up on the rubber, and those even sold around fifty dollars. So yeah. I was like, yeah, that's good, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, my biggest concern was it would make it look worse. Yeah. Uh, because you know you got all this light, and then whenever you put the Wonder Balls them on, it will make it super dark. So, I it you know it's like it could just look way worse, super blotchy. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah and if it's only going to be a couple dollars, five you know dollars more, then is it really worth it? Kind of. That was our thought process. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> all that to say. That's how we decided. And they it. still sold super quick, so yeah. we made the right decision, it. right? So. I so. Uh, yeah. So other than that, I had one other sale, but I already sold it, and so we've messaged that person. Oh yeah, on, on eBay. eBay. Mm -hmm. So I I feel bad because I sent an offer this morning and they accepted it. So like right. obviously it seems like I have the item, and I was like anxious to sell it because I sent them an offer. But yeah. now we have to message them. Well, Chris messaged them for me saying they haven't rolled back yet. Right. Saying, you know, we can't find the item. So sorry. We'll give you a discount on something else if you want it. Or basically trying to get them to say, please cancel. Them. Right. Instead. No, you don't have to give me. A right. You could just cancel it. If that's kind of what that we're. That way we could just cancel yeah. it as buyer ask. Because technically they did at right. that point. Right. We gave right. them two options. Do you want this much money off of something else? Or yeah. cancel. Versus and honestly, just I... canceling as out of stock. Yeah, I think it's a better way to do it because, you know, yeah. versus just canceling and saying, sorry, didn't have it, right? I feel like right. that's poor customer service. Yeah, that's true. And I don't think they can rate you if you don't ship them something, but yeah, it's, it's just, still it's, just like yeah, a bad, bad juju. Feeling, right? yeah, so <laughs> so uh, that's kind of what, yeah. yeah and, and if they do want the coupon, I'll make a coupon, send it to them. They can get $15 off of, on yeah, top of anything else. Because it was like else. a $14 yeah. item, so it's not yeah. like a, it's not a big deal. I just right. feel bad because... But it brings oh, up the point that we've been meaning to yeah. get an inventory, um, just a, a thorough one. inventory of just everything. Because yeah. I know I've started my Facebook store up again, and I actually have canceled two orders, and they notified me, like, you're getting close to your... Because we're not selling yeah. as much over there anymore, well, so two orders. I think you can only cancel, like, 10% of how many yeah. orders come in, and I'm getting close to that. So I need to definitely just do a big inventory, which, yeah, yeah we need to do anyways, because... Like we keep mentioning, we're out of space as mm -hmm. it is pretty much. So we want to get rid of stuff. And a lot of the stuff that's in the boxes probably isn't listed how it should be. And they could probably sell if it was. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so that's what we're going to be working on along. So with fun. Else. <laughs> so, yeah. so fun. 
<laughs> you could tell we put it off because it's not fun, but it's something we got to do. But for now, we're going to get this stuff packed up and I think we'll check back in. I don't know, maybe after lunch because it's about to be lunch time. Some more sales throughout the day. Yeah. So we'll check back in a little bit later. We'll let you know what's going on. Um, where did that bin of? Yeah, we've got some other work that we're working on. This bin here. Put all that away today. Got to put that stuff away. I this new last night. I did cross post to eBay all these the kids, kids clothes stuff. that I had only put on Kitizen. So that was technically like 25 items that were brand new to eBay. Anyways. Yeah. So at least it kind of gave my eBay store a boost. But yeah, I want to get some new stuff photographed to at least just have in my drafts for when I have time. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff we're a trying lot, to get done to do, before, yeah. <laughs> especially we go to FlipCon. Oh, yeah, it would be nice to have just soon. some stuff I can list on the way and so, during. We'll check back in a little bit okay. later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, guys, we're back. We did get that all packed up, and we actually worked through <laughs> this shoe rack that we, I think we mentioned yesterday or maybe, I don't know, I don't know a couple days video. ago or so. <laughs> but, I feel like you mentioned it in the beginning of this video, maybe. Maybe it was the beginning of this video. I don't know. <laughs> and <laughs> but, every other day, too. Yeah, we we kind of set a goal this week. We wanted to take care of this rack. This kind of has become a... I don't want to say a death pile because it's just like when Kathy's, you know, sitting here taking photographs, if something, if she runs into an issue, she kind of set it over there. And then, you know, once we got the time we'd get to it and we never really got the time so we decided to take the time and uh we did end up pulling some out these are ones that we are have a flaw we missed yeah it was too late to return or whatever yeah like gonna, yeah, those, that's sad because that was just from the few i know ago. this was a new one and and we took the sticker off it's see that because we could return but we took the sticker off and Goodwill yeah trying to like pull one over on them or something so right so everything in there we're just gonna kind of write off and get rid of not even donate right. back because and honestly it's maybe maybe seventy dollars worth that i've paid out of my pocket yeah so it's like not the end of the world right it's more stressful to me every day just seeing it there unlisted and stuff so. right right it's a, it's that and it's always in the back of your mind because it's yeah. in the back of your room and you know we've we kind of like the way I was looking at it was look, looking at that shelf and would we spend $70 right now to have that much space? Probably, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of... Yeah, so then what we put up there was one of the bins that was yeah, here that yeah. we just hadn't had anywhere to put the taller shoes that don't really fit in the boxes. Which was another one of our goals for this week to kind of oh, work empty. through this stuff here. Uh, these are just one pair that may end up getting donated, but yeah, I just can't figure out if they're men's or women's, so... Yeah. I give myself five minutes to figure it out, and if I can't, they might go in there too. But. Right, for sure. And then, yeah, the rest of the kids' stuff is what I, I want to get all of these bins gone. So yeah. I cross posted these to Posh today. I posted them to eBay last night. I'm kind of like doing one platform a day because, like, a couple have already sold since eBay last night. Mm -hmm. um, I already saw likes on some of the new Poshmark listings, so some might sell again overnight. Tomorrow I'll do Mercari or Facebook. Yeah. Kids clothes usually sell kind of quickly if they're like good brands and stuff. So anyways, that's nice. And then once I post them to every platform, I'll put them in the boxes as they should be. And that will be an end of one bin. Yeah. So, yeah, and then this, shoes. yeah, this is kind of what was left over. We went yeah. through that rack. There Some was stuff on there that I needed just to list. So yeah. Some of it needs numbers taken off. Yeah. Photograph and list pile. Well, not all today, but. I'm going to try to photograph them all today, list them some today, some tomorrow. Oh, and there was a few over here. This was where we, uh, a little bit more. yeah, they just need, you know, I'm going to put some like mm -hmm. shoe conditioner on here. Got to restring those Anyways. laces. I think numbers need. So just like little yeah. stuff that kind of has, <laughs> they've fallen out of our process and they've just been sitting around, you know, so we're just trying to be intentional and, and take care of that stuff. So yeah. we did, it is going on. It's three 30. <laughs> we do have, I think we gotta go get yeah, we do got to go get a kids but we did get two more sales and we'll go ahead and pull those and then we'll probably close out the video Why you sold you a keep? pencil box <laughs> why'd you keep pencil box it's just crazy because like we bought our son a pencil box for school this year and yeah. it was like 99 cents at like target <laughs> right just like a cheapy target brand this is just space maker like what we had as kids yeah i sold on posh for for nine dollars wow got it at the bin so it's about a six dollar profit um, Nine dollars plus. Plus they paid eight dollars in shipping. Yeah. Wow. So just for this, so that's cool. Okay. <laughs> and then other thing was BM. Yeah, we'll probably just put that like in a shoe box or regional box. Yeah, maybe regional A. These little 
funky brown booties that I said on the last video where we did your haircut video. Oh yeah, yeah. That I normally don't pick up Lucky Brand. It takes a while to sell and stuff, but the only reason I grabbed these was because they were mostly basically new and they're my size, so worst case I kept them. But they sold already, less than a week, so. Uh, not huge money, obviously. I bought them for $9.99, sold them for $31 with discount shipping, so like a $13 profit there. So yeah, Sweet. do a regional B-Box on that probably. With two more Poshmark sales to close out the day. Yeah, I posted on my Instagram. I. I'd have had six more sales if the offers that came in were reasonable, but I had six offers. I didn't even counter today. I was just like, not in the mood for. 60, <laughs> we're in the mood of cleaning stuff and getting rid of. Sixty to ninety percent yeah. offers off my ask price right. on Posh, so I did decline. Straight up declined six offers today. <laughs> Sounds good. If you're more interested in that kind of stuff, Kathy does those kinds of stories all the time over on Instagram. You guys yeah. can go follow us over there. Like if you, just kind of what's happening through the right at the moment. The yeah. <laughs> Whatever you're feeling. All the irritations <laughs> of reselling that. But then also. Like, well, on Instagram is mostly like other resellers. So they're like kind of. Yeah. Have, you know, a few people have been like, yep, me too. You get that instant feedback. Week. Yeah. <laughs> Some people get annoyed that you're complaining, which. Right. I'm you don't complaining. only complain. That's a, you, right. you share a lot I'm of cool things. Too. I am complaining. It, it's annoying to get <laughs> this. The one that really irritated me was um, a smart wool shirt. New a tag. I think it retails for 75. I have it maybe for 65. They got the Posher VA offer of 52 with discount shipping. And mm -hmm. then they countered me at $15. Wow. Then I look in their store and they're a seller selling way overpriced things as well. Yeah. So. Those are the kinds of things that irritate me. Uh, less when it's just somebody that's obviously not a public right. user yeah. and just buying. So, yeah. Yeah. So go Otherwise, follow. Us. It's a great day. <laughs> go follow over on Instagram yeah. if that interests you. We're gonna go ahead and pack this stuff up off camera and call it a day. Cause yeah, we gotta go pick up the kids. It's been raining this afternoon, so gonna go brave the I don't think it's raining right this minute but hopefully the kids don't get all wet anyway we're gonna do that head off to the post office get the kids and we'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>